For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Sales First Quarter 2008 4 from your Sample Files folder. And after you've opened the sample file, click on the January Worksheet tab to select the January Worksheet. And then move to the top of the January Worksheet to cell A1 by holding down the Control key on the keyboard and then pressing the Home key. This lesson introduces Excel's Find and Replace tool. The Find and Replace tool is amazingly powerful. There are several special features that can massively shorten many common tasks. This lesson will explore all of the special features and suggest useful ways in which they can be used to solve real-world problems. Nancy Devolio has married Sean O'Reilly and she's very proud of her new name. She's made a special request for you to change her name throughout the workbook. To do this, I'll click the Home tab on the ribbon and in the Editing group, Find and Select and then I'll select Replace from the shortcut menu. Now I'm going to look for the text Davolio and I'm going to replace it with the text O'Reilly. Now at the moment I'd only change instances of Davolio within the January worksheet but I want to change it throughout the entire workbook so I'll need to access the Find and Replace options by clicking the Options button at the bottom right of the dialog. Notice that there's an option here within Sheet. If I click the drop down next to Sheet you can see that I can search within the entire workbook and that of course is what I want to do so I'll select Workbook. If I now click the Find Next button you can see that the active cell has moved to the first cell containing the word Devolio. If I now click the Replace button, you can see that I've replaced the text Devolio with O'Reilly and then moved to the next instance of Devolio in cell C3. And every time I click the Replace button, this will happen. But I'd like to replace all instances of Devolio in all worksheets in one operation. So I'll click the Replace All button. And when I do, Excel informs me that it's made 26 replacements in this workbook. So I'll click OK and then Close to close the Find and Replace dialog. And if I look in one of the other workbooks, I can see in cell C56 and C57 that I've replaced Devolio with O'Reilly throughout the workbook. I'll return now to the January worksheet. Now let's look at another ability of Find and Replace that isn't widely known amongst Excel users and that is the ability to look in the contents of a cell and if it meets a certain criteria to format that cell in a special way. Let's click now in cell G54 on the March worksheet and this contains the text Boston Crab Meat. I'm now going to use the skills that you learned in Lesson 4-9 to apply a style to cell G54. So I'll click Home tab on the ribbon and in the Styles group I'll click Cell Styles to open the Cell Styles gallery. And I'm going to apply the Good style which puts dark green text on a light green background. I click the Good style and the Good style is applied to cell G54. I'd now like to apply the same good style to every cell that contains the text Boston Crab Meat. To do that, I'll click Home on the ribbon, Editing, Find and Select, and then Replace to bring up the same dialog as last time. I'll remove Devolio and O'Reilly from the two text boxes, and in the Find What box, I'll type Boston Crab Meat. I'll leave the Replace With box blank and instead I'll click the drop down arrow to the right of the Format button and then I'll select Choose Format from Cell because I want to match the formatting in cell G54. So I'll click Choose Format from Cell 
And notice that the cursor has changed to an eyedropper. I can now click this onto cell G54 and notice that the format is shown in the preview box. Exactly the same format that occurs in cell G54. Now I'll click the Replace All button. And you can see that seven cells have had their formatting changed. I'll click OK and Close. And you can see in cell G58 that Boston Crab Meat has been highlighted in green. And if I look in one of the other worksheets, I can see that Boston Crab Meat has also been shaded in green. I'll click on the January worksheet and then press Control Home to move the active cell back to cell A1. Now I'm going to demonstrate another ability of the Find and Select feature, and that is the ability to find a value rather than text. Quite often you'll have a long list of invoices and you'll want to find a specific invoice. And the only thing you might know about the invoice is its value. For example, look at cell J10. It contains the value 228150. Let's see if we can use the Find dialog to find that value. So I'll click Home on the ribbon in the Editing group, Find and Select, and Find. And in the Find What box, I'll type 2,281.50. Exactly the same value I'm seeing in cell J10. And now I'll click the Find Next button. And when I do, you could be forgiven for thinking that I'll find cell J10. I'll click Find Next now. And you can see that Excel's telling me that the value 228150 doesn't exist in any cell in this workbook. And the reason Excel's doing this is because Excel isn't looking in the values displayed in the cells, it's looking in the formulas behind the cells. Let me show you what I mean. If I click on cell J10 and look at the formula bar at the top of the screen, you can see that the formula is equals H10 times I10. And that's what Excel is searching for. So I need to change another option. That is, instead of look in formulas, I want to select look in values. Now I'll click back in cell A1 to make it the active cell, and I'll click Find Next again. And this time, I do find the value in cell J10. Now let's look at yet another ability of the Find and Replace dialog. Again, one that's not known by most Excel users. And that is the ability to use wildcards in a search expression. I'll click back in cell A1 to make it the active cell, and I'm going to search for the first cell that contains the word London. Now you can see that London is contained in cell E2. Now I could simply type London for the search expression, and of course that would work, but I'm going to find it in a different way by using a wildcard. I'll type L, and then an asterisk, and then N. And what I'm asking Excel to do is return any cell that contains an L followed by any number of other characters and then followed by the letter N. I'll click Find Next now to see what happens. And you can see that I found cell B1 first of all. And if you look carefully at the text in cell B1, you can see that on the first line, Salesperson contains the letter L followed by a number of characters and spaces, and then the letter N. I'll now click Find Next again, and this time I find cell C1, because once again, Salesperson contains the letter L, followed by a number of letters and spaces, and then the letter N. But when I click for the third time, I find London. Now let's look at a different type of wildcard. I can see the name Ernst Handel in cell D9. I'm going to search for Handel like this. H, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, L. And what I'm asking Excel for this time 
is the letter H followed by any four other characters followed by the letter L. I'll click back in cell A1 and then click the Find Next button. And this time it's found Ernst Handel in cell D9. And if I click Find Next again, I'll move to the next cell that has the letter H followed by any four letters followed by the letter L. I'll now close the Find and Replace dialog and all that remains for this lesson is to save your work and I'm going to save with the new name Sales First Quarter 2008 5 and as usual I'll save to the folder above my Sample Files folder. I click the Save button and you've now completed Lesson 6-8 Use, Find and Replace